It's a very simple, but I believe effective kit that is going to help the first order quite a bit. Don't know if this is going to make them viable in the arena. We have to check back when I get them in the test account and I actually can play them against the meta team. So for today, we're just going to look at the kit and some of this uh, beta footage that was provided by the developers. Now, this footage is subject to change, but I think it does show what the kit does and how it works. And then also... At the end of the video, we're going to play the first order the way it is right now. The first order is actually pretty good on offense. They just don't hold up well on defense. And I believe that this first order executioner will help them drastically on defense. Now, first things first, we've got to look at the unique because everything is about the unique and why it works so well. Because it's just going to work very well on AI and on autoplay. When first order executioner scores a critical hit which is going to be all the time given that there is an advantage mechanic that is comes along with playing the first order. He gains 10% max health stacking, very important, until the end of the encounter, and first order allies gain 10% turn meter. First order executioner has a bonus offense equal to 5% of his max health. So with every critical hit, he's going to be getting more health, He's going to be giving turn meter to the entire first order squad and his damage is going to be going up. That is very, very, very cool. Now, if we look at his basic attack, which I think is very good also, deal physical damage and gain health up for 30% for one turn. If the target is debuffed, like if they have stun or tenacity Dan from Kylo Ren unmasked, this attack is guaranteed to be a critical hit and first order executioner gains advantage for two turns. Now, I think this is very, 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 very good. Now, take a look at this clip right here. And we're going to play with this clip because take a look at the turn meter on what's going on with this clip. Basically, right now, it's first order stormtrooper's turn and has 100% turn meter. Then we see Zeb at the other side that is at 98% turn meter. Then we see the First Order Executioner probably at like 95% turn meter. And then we also see the First Order TIE Pilot maybe at 80% turn meter. So the way it stands right now, you know, the turn order with the turn meter would be the Stormtrooper. It's turn right now. Zeb, the First Order Executioner, and then the TIE Pilot. But that is not what's going to happen. What's going to happen right here is that the First Order Stormtrooper actually has like a 50% chance of calling in an assist. So that's going to happen right here. Bonus attack. Everybody's getting 10% turn meter on the other team. So everybody's turn meter got boosted. So now, instead of being Zeb's turn, it's the first order or executioner's turn, which is very good. And he's going to get a crit right now again because he has advantage. He would have an auto crit if he had attacked someone with a negative status effect. And that's going to allow, actually, the first order TIE pilot to go before this is really really good especially with the original kylo ren kylo ren's middle attack gives all the first order actually 25 percent turn meter so there are a ton of tricks on this i think it's very good now let's go down to his special ability death percentage i love this also deal physical damage to target enemy remove 50 percent turn meter and dispel all buffs on them. That is always helpful, especially with General Kenobi and tanks and things like that. If this attack defeats an enemy, First Order Executioner gains 80% turn meter and the cooldown of this attack is reset. Otherwise, he gains 40% turn meter and 20% max health stacking until he defeats an enemy. Now, there's some footage right here on the AAT tank raid of him taking out some of the, in phase two, the turrets. He's getting the turn meter. And because of the way that his damage ramps up, I imagine this is going to be just outright amazing in the tank raid and also in the territory battles. It, it just seems like it's going to be really good going against multiple heroes. Having his attack and his health just ramp up over and over again. And this is, kind of reminds me of like a mini Darth Maul ability where he can get 80% turn meter when he defeats and has his cooldown. So he should be able to go back to back to back to back. I just think this is really cool. 
Now, what I want to show right now is just how good first order right now is anyways on offense with the current team. And the current team that I've been playing with first order is, of course, with Kylo Ren Amassed, the regular Kylo Ren, first order officer, first order stormtrooper, and the first order TIE pilot. Now, I suspect that we're going to replace the first order officer with the first order executioner, but... We'll go into battle right here, and you'll see how actually how useful the first order officer is. I, I do like him a lot. So I, we'll see when I get him in the test account, the first order executioner, if we're going to replace out the TIE pilot or the officer. But the two Kylos and the stormtrooper, the first order stormtrooper, seem like it's pretty important on this team. And we're going to go up against a uh, very fast, highly modded. Jedi Knight training Ray team. So we're going to see how this goes. All right. So we're going to do taunt right here. Maybe we'll get an assist. Let's see if we get an assist. Ah, no assist. Now, I am looking at the turn meter of my team, and it looks like three members of my team are at full turn meter. So I really don't need to do this middle attack. So I'm going to try to get a stun on R2 right here. Ah, no stun. Now, this is where I like the First Order Officer. He's able to get rid of negative status effects. So, I like this ability right here. Gains 100% turn meter and advantage for two turns. Now, I think I'm going to save that for a situation where I've got a stun or something like that. Or, right now, this could be a situation where the First Order Executioner is going. You know, if we replace him and then he'd be getting turn meter or dispelling the other person, which would be the R2-D2. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this third attack, which is going to remove turn meter, and I should be able to give some turn meter for the rest of my team if that happens. All right, very cool. Let's put a stun on R2. Oh, we've got a taunt on, taunt on old Ben, so let's just attack. Now, look at the damage right here. 13,000, not so high. I see some really high damage sometimes from the First Order TIE pilot. Uh, I have a feeling that I want to keep him on the team. See, now, now here's a situation where I think I want to do this middle attack right here because that's going to boost Kylo Ren on Mast and the First Order Officer almost to 100% turn meter. Although Kylo Ren has days on it, so he's not getting any turn meter. We're going to get rid of that, though, right here with the First Order Officer. All right, and not much we can do here. I'm going to save this attack right here, the third attack. If uh, Old Ben had stun or something like that, I would use that right now, or if I needed the health back, because there's a, quite a bit of health steal on that third ability. But it gets uh, double damage if there's a stun, so we're gonna save that. All right, and get the taunt going. Pona's attack there. Old Ben is down. Ooh, ooh. Okay. All right, who do we want to stun? Well, looks like we only have Imperial Probe Droid. Got the stun. Ooh, now we can do this double damage right here. 27,000, not terrible. And uh, let's do that. Very good. Big damage right here, 20,000. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm not sure who to replace. I'm actually kind of torn. Okay, we want to do turn meter right here. Mm, well, that stun seems like overkill. Also, this right here, this stun right here, just does not work on Ray, It just does not work. I've done it so many times. Uh, basically, she's kind of like Ahsoka. Nothing sticks to her, so I, you know, I don't recommend that. All right, let's put, uh, get rid of the stun on the First Order Stormtrooper, and Probe Droid is gone. So you can see that this team does well. I mean, I don't think that the other team is optimal, but I know it has really good mods. Uh, I think that R2-D2 is almost 300 speed. Oh, but boy, they got the expose going. And see, and this is where that dispel on the First Order Executioner would be very good to be able to get rid of, you know, some of these positive effects. Oh, boy, look at this. Hmm. Let's see if we can get a stun here in RTD2. Nope. All right, let's get turn meter removal. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be terrible if I lost right here? All right, negative status effects. We want to help out. Ah, First Order Officer also seems very good. You can see right there, getting rid of all those negative status effects. 
on the TIE pilot. Double attack. Oh boy, BB-8 is going to go off again, I have a feeling. Hmm, that's a waste. Well, let's do it over here on R2-D2. Very cool. Let's see where our turn meter is on my team. Hmm, I think I want to get the stun. Woo! Okay. Oh, boy, look at all those negative status effects. And so this is where, you know, I, I really don't know. I As you can see as I'm playing right now, it does appear that the First Order officer is very important. We're going to put this on autoplay because I'm talking a lot and I'm not playing. But if I wasn't talking, I think this would not have timed out. Actually, I don't think we're going to time out. Let's see. Seven seconds left. Let's get it going. <laughs> well, I lost because of the timeout. That was kind of suspenseful, though. Um, all right. Like I said, be sure to check back when I have it in the test account so that way I can make an assessment. Uh, there is a possibility that this might be a uh, arena viable team. For sure, this team is going to be strong on offense. I, I really strongly believe that. And it's going to be useful in the AAT tank raid and also in territory battles. But is it going to hold up on defense? The way the First Order stands right now, it stands that they just fall apart on defense and overnight you're going to fall down. And that's where teams like Talzin, uh, the Jedi training raid team, seem to hold up a lot better is that they're good on defense. So we're going to see if this First Order Executioner adds something to the team. Because the kit is simple and it gives turn meter to the entire team, I, I do think it's going to be very helpful. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.